Good evening, Plum here playing World of Tanks, and uh, let's take it all back. Back to the beginning. The little leak tractor. Wow, I've had this tank a long time. Obviously, since the first ever game. This was the first machine I ever played my first ever game in. And uh, no regrets going down the German line to start with. I, like most people, wanted to get my hands on a uh, Tiger, Tiger 2. No one think with Tiger in front of it. <laughs> Would have been great before uh, finding out that actually they're not the uh, killing machines you expect them to be. They're just balanced like all the other tanks. But uh, this is where it all began. Little leak tractor. So obviously you can have some uh, very good games playing tier one tanks when you've been playing three and a half years or whatever it is now. Um, let's see what happens in this match. Probably going to be uh, what do you think, Prokhorovka or Himmelsdorf? Or mines. Which one's it going to be? I think it's going to be mines. No, Malinovka. <laughs> See, everything's going wrong tonight. I haven't had any uh, good, good results. Nothing unusual happening tonight. So, good news is it's a tier one match. So I am going to go to my regular watering hole over there by the water center of your screen either F7 or if I can get to it E7 Echo 7 Echo 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 Let's engage overdrive boys Let's get there as fast as we can spinning those tracks. These little tier 1 machines are still very very good fun. Very good fun indeed. For some reason XVM is not working so it's just a 50-50. We've got a T1 absolutely screaming up the map. So to make sure I can get shots on anything he does illuminate which he's going to start doing any second now. I'm going to get up to this bush. Now because I have a 100% uh, crew in this tank, it is obviously pretty accurate over these sorts of ranges. It's a shame we didn't illuminate any more than that. So luckily we've got our T1 going up right into the northeast corner of the map. Which I'm very very happy about, otherwise it would just be me sat here. So now we just need a little bit of patience. We could also do with a time machine just to skip forward so you're not sat here looking at this virtually stationary minimap <laughs> like I am. FT's moving up. Hopefully he's going to do some spotting for us. This is a very, very good spotting position. right from here now. It's a shame that MS1 is down there. Obviously the FT can probably have shots on him. Is he going to come all the way up over this ridge? I think he might. So really I shouldn't fire straight away. I should let him come over. At least come over a little bit more so I can get two shots into him before he changes his mind. Boom! We get an ammo rack. <laughs> Always satisfying. Now was I spotted? see. That drop short. Nice big target to go for the side of. One more. Ah, oh, we just missed the kill. Now their team is crumbling. We do catch the shot. Just missed that one. They are quick these uh, T1s. Not quick enough to dodge a shell though. I feel like it's now safe to move up a bit, he says, taking shots in the side. Nope, we're okay. So they are probably camping the base. Our T1's managed to come all the way around the map. He is now taking fire. Is this ground high enough? Oh crikey, he absolutely annihilated that T1. 
and he has now gone himself. Another um, case of overstretching yourself there a bit, my friend. Let's see if we can get up here covertly, not knock any trees over, come to a rest. Ah, oh, gun depression. There's a hit. One more, come on. We just missed. And there's another kill. So three kills. No damage taken yet. I'm inclined just to sit here and uh, let this FT move up. And hopefully give it to them as soon as he lights something up. I'm watching the mini map mostly. Come on, FT. So our camp is pretty well defended. Although I can't see what our tanks are doing because they're out of range. Oh no, taken out from who knows where. Let's just push up a little bit. I'd like to get some eyes on, obviously. Get some movement out of their base camp. Well, the match is levelled off now. Each side has lost nine tanks. So it's resting comfortably on a dramatic finish. It does take quite a while for that reticule to settle down, which is unfortunate. If anything can do it, the leak tractor can. I'm not inclined to attack. We've still got nine minutes. So I am just going to sit tight. I'd like that T1 to come up and support me. I mean, uh, we've had a T1 go around the top of the map, so it should be pretty safe for him to move up. And uh, can I ping him to come over here? Can I even see him? T1 is Jokinesi. We have got a platoon, which I hope bodes well for some teamwork. Be nice to know what is going on over at the base. These little radios on these big maps, <laughs> you're just blind. We know they're here though, we just watched a couple of our friendly tanks get destroyed, approaching the base. So I'm inclined just to sit tight. This is where patience is a virtue. Boring though, but I'm not going to throw it away. If I attack, I will be killed. They've proven that they're just sitting there waiting, so it would be a mistake. I really should drop this video into some editing software and put some music on at this point. Royalty free music of course. And that link tractor is moving up the same path where <laughs> everything else has died so far. up just a little bit more. So we've got a medium tank. I'm going to start to put the rounds in. See if we can't remove him from the game. Have I been spotted? Am I about to get shot? It doesn't look like it. And now our patience has paid off thankfully. Five kills. So I'm providing brilliant overwatch to uh, Aeon King. He can move up, spot, and then we can get two guns firing on them. He's 
going to move out of my range at some point where I won't be able to help him. So he's skirting around the edge of the cap. He doesn't want anyone to know he's actually in the cap yet. And now he's out of my range. It's like, ah, now what? I do not know where the enemy are. And they're over there somewhere. just going to have to go for it in a moment because what other choice have we got? I mean it's only a game for goodness sake. <laughs> Let's just go in and get them. Uh -oh. They're going to be attacking our base soon I think so now or never. Let's try some uh, attacking. Been told they're right over on that flank, so I'll get no support if I start capping, and they'll know exactly where I am. Oh, my own king is still alive. I just assumed it was him that was got killed. I really need to get over here and support this guy. I've got to keep him in the game. Ah, now. <laughs> can nearly one shot this T1. Don't want to get spotted, not yet. I don't know where the other tanks are though, so I'm probably going to come and rest up where I can get some decent cover. Miss. Hit. Miss. Oh, my lead. Oh, my lead. Come on. Oh, you got one more chance, Plum. <laughs> Whew. So we got Top Gun anyway. <laughs> Top Gun is in the bag. This guy is a one shot. Seven. Uh oh. Now, where is he? He's probably over here somewhere. Get into the low ground. Only me and that T1 left. Oh, we get a lucky shot. Hadn't even aimed the reticule. It was going to do or die then because he was going to get me on the next shot. <laughs> luck is on our side. So we get an eight kill game. Get the mastery badge. 11,500 XP. 3,500, sorry, 11,500 credits. 3,500 XP. A really tasty <laughs> battle efficiency screen. And uh, how did we do? I suppose you could say that was a bit of a carry. 794 and uh, next best place was 360. 502 damage in a tier 1 is not bad and 8 kills. Just plenty of patience. It's, a lot of it is down to having a 100% crew in a tier 1 tank. Not many of these tanks in this match would have had 100% crew and it just makes the shots go where you aim them. I remember playing tier 1 without 100% crew when I was retraining these guys as I moved up a good crew into something else and the uh, accuracy was woeful going to the outer ridges of the reticule all the time whereas you get it 100% and they start going into the center mass and uh, you can do an awful lot better so maybe to get your commander to 100% pay for it with gold I don't know it'll improve your game stats very quickly so yeah, good result in the little leak tractor. 28 shots fired, 19 hits, 500 damage, 1191 XP tripled. So a good game to end on. I think that's the one I'm going to post this evening. Had a uh, flurry of near games, but that was a good one to finish on. Is it seal clubbing at tier 1? I guess it is, but the guns certainly know better than, uh, or the tanks know better than any of those other tier 1s. It's a very level playing field. I sometimes think the T1's best suited really, I should probably get a T1 for this sort of thing, but got to love the leak tractor, it's got the manoeuvrability, and uh, it's kind of the best of both worlds. I love that gun, love that little tank, it's a little rock star that tier. Tier 1 matches, can be a lot of fun, you can get a lot of kills. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that match, sorry about the uh, middle, a little bit slow, but uh, what can you do? I think I made the right decision to do exactly what I did, and well there we go. 8 kills and uh, top. So I will definitely play again. 
Stay tuned for more battles, artillery matches, tank destroyers, heavies, I play it all. Uh, if you're inclined, press the subs button and then I know I'm doing the right thing at least and uh, I will definitely play again soon. Take care. Bye bye.